get in. Now in the back garden, I've got a hide that looks just like this. I put his dinner bowl in there full of food, make him sit, and I will make him wait for five minutes. That's what I did a long time ago, and it got him used to being in the hide. Also, it got him used to letting him know I am the pack leader. You've got to do as he's told, when he's told. Good boy. So then, Jake. Now, this is a good example of a really rubbish hide, but Jake, you always go on the left. Good boy, stay there. Sit. And so now it's still black as a cow's guts. It's blowing a hoolie. The hailstones are hammering down. Don't lean on me hide, son. Stay there. And now I'm set up, ready for the chance of a shot. Listen. Out there, in the blackness, I can hear the widging calling. There's hundreds of widgeon. They come from northern Russia. Overhead, I can hear the mallards now, up against the dark sky. Still can't see them, but you can hear them. They're chattering away somewhere up there. All the time now, the tide is inching up. And in front of the tide, I can't really see them, but I can hear the wading birds, the oyster catchers, the curlew, the sandalins, dundlin, whole range of different wading birds all inching up in front of the tide, which is always coming in. Very soon at daybreak, the tide should reach top of the tide. And in the east, I can see the first light of dawn. I'm not talking about sun up, I'm talking about the first light of dawn. That's the time for your mallards. <laughs> A great rush of them have gone down the main channel just too far, they're about 50 yards, not worth a shot. Listen, out there I can hear the Canada geese, they're waking up and they're getting up now. Right, here they come, Jake stay there. Now this is the moment of truth folks, this is where your heart's in your mouth, you will they come. They're 150 yards away, they're curling around, they've seen the decoys now and they're coming. I'll just give him one more little call. <laughs> right, that's enough, here they come. Jake, stay there. Right, safety catch off. Here we go. They're 40 yards, a bit closer. And now. Ah, oh, we got one down. Beautiful. Lovely long shot there. Thank you for that, Chris. Brilliant. Do you know, I can't believe you lot are still watching this rubbish. <laughs> Now, I don't know if Jake has seen this, because in the real world, he would never see where that bird landed, because we're down in a gutter. He never sees exactly where it's gone. So he's got to have the trust in me with the hand signals and the directions. I'm going to empty me gun at this stage, because if I don't get that bird, that's going to be carried out to sea by the incoming tide, or disappear somewhere. Notice how Jake didn't go running home back to Cornwall at the loud bang. He's used to this now. That bird there, by now, would be 70 yards away. We've got to get on it pretty quick. Jake? Fetch him on. Remember there's a pigeon in the top corner. If the wind comes that way. Good boy, go back. Go back. Go back. No, it's a paper bag, mate. We don't want that. Go back. Remember hand signals. Very important. Good boy, and fetch him on. Now watch this. This is a hard thing for any dog to carry. He's coming on. He's good lad. Put your hands together. This is coming really well. Jake, I'm over here. Come on, we can do this. Good boy. Good boy. He's got to bring it right back to me and me hide. Where are you going, son? Where are you going? Jake, no, 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 I'm over here. If he comes up to you and lifts his leg, be very careful. He move! <laughs> if you're going to go getting a dog, I guarantee you, you do far better to get a bitch, all right, folks? You don't get any of these type of marking problems. Jake, I'm over here, you idiot. The tide's coming in. I can't help you. Come on, quickly. Fetch him on, fetch him on. Good boy. Right, put your hands together, folks. This is great stuff. Oh, sorry, it's gone again. Here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Good boy. What a good lad. Good boy. So we got our first goose.